Assalamu alaikum everybody. My name's Halima Ferreira and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite dishes. It's what I call a hug in a bowl. It's an Ayurvedic dish. It's been made in India for years and it's super, super nourishing. It just makes you feel good all over. The main ingredients for this dish are rice and lentils. And I've used a broken rice. I've used some yellow lentils and that's actually cooking away at the moment with some mustard seeds, some cumin, a little bit of asafoetida to take away the um, the gas in, in the lentils, it really helps with digestion. So it's based, I think, from fenugreek, I believe. And then we have some curry leaves in there. On the side, we've got some coriander, which we're gonna to add to that, some fried curry leaves, shallots, garlic, and a little bit of salt in that just for the end. And then we've got two pickles and a bit of side breads. On this side, what I've made over here is a sauce that actually goes with the rice and lentils. And it's made with yogurt, gram flour, We've also got some ginger in there, a little bit of cumin, some mustard seeds, and a bit of water. And you just really, really cook that down. It's a great accompaniment to the rice. The rice has been cooking really, really slowly. The lentils and the rice cook up together. A bit of water, it just covers the water. It's supposed to be really, really, the rice is supposed to be really soft. And the mustard seeds, the garlic, the ginger, and a little bit of salt in that. So it's really, Really, really simple. It's very good for the gut, very good for digestion. And it's one of those things that if you're not feeling great and a bit like a chicken soup, it's one of those things that you go to and it really, really helps you feel so much stronger. It's also great for protein. It's everything in one. So let me show you how this all comes together. As you can see, it's really beautiful. And it, I like it a little bit runny like that. It needs to be a little bit runny. That's what we're gonna do. Turn our stove off. Now we're putting a bit of the sauce on top. Gram flour. I like to finish it off with fried onion, shallots and garlic. fried curry leaves. And a couple of sprigs of coriander. And here we have our kitri, ready to enjoy. <laughs> 